Real quick, if you live in Southern California, please check out our new tournament series, SoCal Coliseum. The very first one is this weekend, and it's aimed towards benefiting new and beginning players and will feature free amateur brackets, an online ranking system, a legit high quality stream, and even more. Check the description of this video below for more details and to learn how to sign up. If you can't make it this time, don't worry, we'll let you know about the next one as soon as possible. What's up guys? First things first, I want you guys to know that this guide is not the end all be all. There are many more subtleties and nuances to Falco's combos more than any other character in the game. And not only that, but even among top Falco players, they all have their own style and different decision making because they prioritize different factors during their combos. This video should serve as a general guideline to follow as you develop your own style and it is not a rigid, you have to do this move at this time kind of thing. But I know half of you won't even remember that part and even less of you will care. So let's just get to the part that you already know where I, Kira, attempt to teach you how to combo using YouTube's favorite character, Falco Lombardi. Here we go. Falco's combos are best started off from his shine, but since it has the least range out of all of his moves, much of his neutral game is based around how to get close enough to hit with one. Usually Falcos get their hits from shield pressure, out of a grab, or simply by connecting with a neutral air or down air. And once it does, that's when his combo game really begins. First, there are three concepts you need to keep in mind while you're figuring out how to combo. Number one, you'll have to learn how to move out of shine comfortably. This includes jumping out of shine, wave dashing out of shine, and wave landing on platforms out of an aerial shine. The faster and smoother that you can do these combos, the longer they'll be in hit stun and the further you'll be able to extend your combos. Number two, even if they can escape a combo, try to see what they do to escape it right afterwards. For example, most people will opt to just sit in their shield after getting hit because they're scared of getting comboed more. In this case, even if you can't true combo them, you can simply turn around and grab them and continue a string of hits that way. Number three, and this is the important one, watch very carefully which side of your opponent you've aimed your attack on, because spacing your attacks accurately and their DI go hand in hand. For example, if you shine on the left side of your opponent, they can hold away and move in this direction, but if they hold towards you, they won't be able to fly to the left at the same angle. They'll simply mostly go straight up instead. Because of this, after a shine, you'll want to wave dash or wave land or jump towards them. That is, if you shine them on the left side, you'll want to wave dash towards the right, because you'll be in a position to cover whether they DI'd straight up or they DI'd away. If you shine them on the right side, you wave dash to the left. And the same goes for wave lands on platforms. Now, Falco really has two different modes of comboing. Those done on fast fallers, which is pretty much just Fox, Falco, and Falcon. And those done on floaty characters, which is mostly everybody else. Against fast fallers, almost every combo will start with a shine, to a short hop down air, to another shine. In fact, I want you to turn on melee right now, go to final destination, and play against a level 1 fox, and do this combo. Now that combo was just done on a level 1 computer, but here we can show the exact same combo done against real humans, really good ones too, that are DIing pretty darn well. As long as you read their DI and perform the moves quickly, you can true combo them wherever they go. Now, back to the computer. If you started this combo at 0%, Fox should end up in the air at around 38% if your moves were unstale. From this point, if you do another down air, Fox is now able to tech the ground, which means if you want the combo to continue, you'll have to either react extremely well or predict where he's going to go correctly, so realistically Fox has a decent chance to escape the combo. Instead, the combo game moves to a series of DI mix-ups, which if predicted correctly, will allow you to zero to death your opponent. Once they get popped up high enough, you can either hit them out with a strong neutral air or back air, 
or you can hit them with a soft one that combos into another attack. If they're off the ledge, of course, down air is pretty much always your best option. If they're close to the ledge, you can spam weak options forever because they're gonna DI in. Fair to jabs to forward smash works pretty well in my experience. On other stages, there's a chance you'll be under what we call a platform. In this case, up tilt might get them high enough to allow them to tech on it, so we use an aerial shine to wave land instead. If they DI towards the ledge, you can continue comboing as if it was FD, with a weak aerial, but if they DI towards center stage, you can shine again and wave land on the top platform. Again, this will lead to another up tilt or a forward smash, depending on if they DI far away from you or above you. One more situation you'll have to be cognizant of is tech chasing on a platform. This is much more preferable and bears much more consistent follow-ups than normal tech chasing, because platforms limit the distance they can go from a roll, which not only makes it easier to react to any option they do, but also allows you to go for moves that cover 75% or even 100% of their tech options, without having to guess or react at all. If the opponent is ever in the air and it's somewhat ambiguous how to continue the combo, simply down air them to a platform and tech chase. On small platforms, it's actually possible to down smash and cover every option. Although, even if the down smash hits, it's not always the most beneficial. A lot of players will forward smash to cover a tech in place, a miss tech, and a roll to one direction. Some players will simply guess a tech spot and up tilt. You can also react by standing where they would tech in place and shining them if they do tech in place or miss tech, and running over to dash tech, aerial, or grab if they roll to either direction. Ultimately, this decision is up to you. Wow, that was so nice by Mango, but Wes's out of shield game is so phenomenal, and his punish game is so phenomenal! Let's go! Let's go! Last time, you guys voted on your favorite Ganon moment of all time. Easy money! And for the next one, we want to know who wins between Fox versus Falco. Post your vote in the comments below, and I'll see you next week.